Legend of Korra in one minute. Aang's dead. Korra's the Avatar. She pieces to Republic City, which is basically New York, but Avatar, she wants to get to Avataring. After immediately getting arrested, Korra lives on Air Temple Island, where she can't airbend. She meets brothers Mako, who sucks, and Bolin, who's too sweet for this world. This girl, Asami, almost kills Mako, and they start dating. Drama ensues and never really goes away. This guy, Amon, wants to take away bending to make everyone equal. Hmm, can't have that. Korra tries to stop him and gets her bending taken away. Womp womp. After that happens, she levels up, unlocks air bending, and exposes him as a waterbender. He flees Republic City and then explodes. Season two, Korra gets tricked into opening spirit portals because this guy wants to fuse with the spirit of darkness and become the anti avatar. He does, but then Korra pulls some Chico garbage and wastes him. Korra leaves the portals open so spirits and humans can live in harmony. Season three, the spirits crap is all over the city and Korra gets kicked out. Also, there's a bunch of new airbenders. Korra tries catching them all, but this dude who wants anarchy is an airbender now, too. He wants to kill all the rulers. Also, he can fly around like a DBZ character. <laughs> Check it out, he suffocated someone using airbending. Metal is hell. Speaking of metal, he poisons Korra with some so he can kill her. Doesn't work out for him though, and he gets thrown in prison again. Korra gets most of the poison out, but she can't walk anymore. Sad. Season 4, this lady Kuvira wants the Earth Kingdom to take over the world, and she's doing a bang up job. Korra can walk again, but she sucks at everything. A blind gremlin helps her get rid of the rest of the poison so she can fight Kuvira who's working on super weapons. They save the city in a big battle. Korra and Asami go on a spirit world day to celebrate the ongoing. <laughs>